Hey, how's it going? Z-Man the Tech here. Thanks for clicking on the video and tuning into Snowly Games. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to back up and flash a SD card image. Without much further ado, let's get right to it. So first thing you're going to want to do is grab a program called Win32 Disk Imager. Link will be in the description as well as the pinned comment for your convenience. We're going to open up a file explorer and navigate to this PC. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and insert our micro SD card, which I've already done. Mine has been assigned a letter D. And what I'm backing up today is the Datafrog SF2000 image. All right, so we're going to go over to image file right here, and we're going to type the following. C colon backslash and whatever it is that's applicable to what you're actually backing up. Okay, for me, it's going to be SF2000. And it's important to put the extension dot IMG. Okay, so C colon backslash name of the file dot IMG. Okay, now we know that our drive letter is D. Again, it may be different for you. Uh, it depends on what you have hooked up. I've got a few devices here, so mine was assigned the letter D. So be careful and make sure you choose the right one that's assigned to your card. Okay, mine is D. All you have to do is go ahead and click read. All right. And this process is going to take a good bit of time. So we're going to actually fast forward and come right back. All right. Looks like we're done. It says read successful. Let's click OK. Now we're going to go back over to this PC and go to the C drive. And we can locate our file, sf2000.img. OK. I'm going to go ahead and drag this over. OK. You need to provide admin privileges. So definitely do that because it's coming from the C drive. So make sure you're a local admin. Probably should have said that first, but going on the assumption that you are. <laughs> All right. OK. So I've relocated the image file to the desktop. That's the easiest place for me to find it. So there's my SF2000 image. Now what we're gonna do is go to this PC in our window here, and I'm going to safely remove, we're gonna right click and eject. All right, it is now safe to remove that micro SD card. And we're gonna go ahead and insert our blank one. Okay, looks like it's been assigned the same letter, D. I'm going to actually close that out. And we're going to right click and go to properties and check the format. Looks like it's already formatted at FAT32. I'm going to go ahead and reformat it just to make sure it's absolutely fresh, no issues at all. So I'm going to right click it. We're going to format. Keep it at default FAT32. All right. And we'll go ahead and name it SF2000. Hit start. Warning. This is going to erase everything on the disk. Hit OK. Format complete. All right. So we know it is letter D and it should be labeled as SF2000. OK. Back on Win32 Disk Imager, we're going to go ahead and clear out what we put before we're going to browse for that image on the uh, ours is on the desktop so that's what we're going to grab it okay sf2000 image hit open make sure device is set to d which it is okay boom now all we have to do is click right Writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. All right, it's now complete. Hit OK. All right, we can go ahead and close out Win32 Disk Imager. And we're going to go ahead and go back to this PC. Drive D, removable disk. And right click it, eject. OK. 
Okay. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. If you like what you've seen, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton with the algorithm to help push my content to others like yourself. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more content like this. Have a good one. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. Futuristic classic. The futuristic classic. Time is of the essence. I feel like I got it mastered. Futuristic classic. The futuristic classic. It's always moving forward, so I'm never moving backwards.